What's good, everybody? It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject here, and welcome back to the channel, boys. And we're back with some more CSU, man. I can't lie. I'm having a ton of fun with this series. I love this game. It's a breath of fresh air. Dual sport athlete series will continue. Don't worry about that. It hasn't gone anywhere. I'm just really, really having a blast with this series. And today we got our first semester's test. We're taking on our first conference opponent. Now, who we're going to be taking on this week, man, we got BYU. Lee and uh, Kirk are split. Kirk's rolling with uh, CSU. Lee's rolling with us. Uh, BYU, though, C plus BC. Uh, we got them beating everything except for total offense and pass offense. We're scoring 40 points a game. We're plus eight in the turnover differential, and we're top five in rush defense. Now, last week, our guy, sophomore Nate Joseph, has proven he's an absolute dog. The true sophomore is now on a hot streak. He continues to punch the ball into the end zone, and he's also proven that he can catch the ball out in the backfield to be successful. So for that, we're going to go ahead and swag him out. Bitch, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on solve them. I run through the money, depression be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon it. All right, guys, so unlike NCAA 14, our options were very, very limited when it comes to swag. You can't get as crazy with it on this game as you could in NCAA 14. So we did the best with what we had, but them little elbow pads and stuff just had to go. All right, boys, so when it comes to recruiting, we're going to take a look at the visits that we had come in last week. We get a B-plus visit from Butler, a B-visit for Blankenship, a B-visit for Smith, B-visit for Vincent coming on down. Um, let's see. And now we still have more guys who are ready to visit. We're going to go ahead and take care of that. Um, guys, um, let's see. So we got a few guys scheduled for week six. And then we have Randolph who's ready. Dowdell who's ready. Cunningham who's ready. Kirk who's ready. Jones, Callahan, O'Connor, Barry. They are all ready. Um, we're moving up on Shane Wilson's list, right? But I'm not going to even waste. I'm not even going to waste our time with him anymore. Um, I think it's just best that we remove him from the board. We're seventh on his list at this point. Um, you know, Barry, we're going to keep him because we're number five and he's in his top five stage. We have all offered. Not the biggest of schools going after him. We've moved down on O'Connor's list. Rutgers, Memphis, and UCF are taking over. We moved up on Kirk. We moved up on Brian. We moved up the first on Randolph. Uh, we moved up the first on Gore. So, you know, we got some things really, really ready to shape. And take a look at guys who are ready to pull the trigger. Jared Butler, more than likely, is going to be uh, signing with our school uh, after this week. Marcus Blankenship is this close to signing with us as well. Eric Jones, we're, we're slowly but surely running away uh, with his interest over Tulsa and Iowa State. Joe Smith, the wide receiver, 6'4", wide receiver, 192 pounds. He should be signing with us next week as well. Gore, we move up to first place, but we're still neck and neck with Utah State. Quentin Vincent should be signing with us rather quickly. We're finally in the green. And then when it comes to everybody else, we're just trying to find our way back up to that main spot. So once again, let's take a look at our team needs. We need 13 total players. We have about 17. Yeah, we have 17 left on our board now. So hopefully we can make all these guys come through. So the first prospect we're going to call is Robert Berry. He's in a good mood when he's hearing from us. But we are back behind quite a few schools. Take a look at the things that he likes. We're going to try to unlock a few more things because we're about to uh, try to you know, go over his visit. He's not too thrilled about talking about program stability, which is average. So let's go ahead and talk about pro potential. Try to hype him up a little bit there. Boom. Just try to find a few more things. What about academic prestige? Is this still something that's the most and we can hard sell academic prestige, bro. That's one thing we do well here in Fort Collins. Uh, we got a B. Let's go ahead and downplay uh, UL Lafayette. Boom. And then we're going to go ahead and schedule our visit. Now, he's already visiting Hawaii week six, but we have openings week eight and week nine. We're going to go ahead and bring him in week nine because that is one of our rivalries, one of our rivalry games. And I think that'd be a good time to bring in a recruit. So we're going to go ahead and hang up that call. Next up, we got James O'Connor. He's thrilled to hear from us. Take a look at the things we got unlocked. We know what is uh, what the, the thing most that he cares about program stability. We're going to talk about that. Above average on academic prestige. Love a guy who wants to come in and learn. Can we go against Rutgers at all? Program stability, we cannot. Um, we're going to go ahead and schedule his visit. He could come in week six versus Utah. Um, we, got a, we got a lot of people visiting week six. So I'm going to bring him in week nine as well versus, uh, versus Air Force. And then let's just try to shoot the, shoot the breeze with him a little bit more. 
Uh, is there anything else we're good at that we don't have a lot? Not really. C plus isn't really a thing. Early playing time, sadly, is what, something he doesn't care about. I wish we could uh, sway that pitch a little bit, but it is what it is. So we're not going to talk to him too long. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. We're not going to waste his time. Here's Damon Callahan, another guy who's ready to come in. We're going to bring. We're actually going to bring him in week six versus Utah, and then we're going to talk about this early playing time. We're going to go ahead and hard sell that a bit. And we're going to see how much he cares about academic prestige, if at all. Hopefully it's most. There we go. That's what I love to see. SMU, when it comes to academic prestige, they're right there. When it comes to early playing time, they're right there. So we don't have anything we could recruit against them on. What about Air Force? Uh, none of the above. What about uh, Houston? Boom. Academic prestige is most Houston don't got that on us. They're immediately in front of us. We're going to continue to recruit against them. We're going to talk about early playing time. And now we're talking to them too long. So we're going to go ahead and hang up. We don't, like I said, these recruits will bang on you. They will hang up the phone in your face if you talk too much. Let's go ahead and recruit them. Still don't know enough about them. We didn't ask about academic prestige. He doesn't care about it. I can tell by the way his face changed. It's, it is above average though. So I don't know why, he, why he's mad about that. What about early playing time? Very low. Uh, He's going to hang up on us. Might have our first recruit to hang up on us, boys. Well, could we hard sell academic prestige? Now that we know it's above average. Why are we so mad when we began to talk about it? Now he's happy. And yeah, go ahead. DN, visit somebody week six. We're going to, he's going to be our first recruit that we commit to bringing in week eight. Uh, Could we recruit against uh SMU Troy or uh, Louisiana Tech? Uh, Let's see. Well, that's USM. That's not SMU. What am I talking about? All righty. So very high athletic facilities. They're C plus. I think we're only C plus too. So we don't really have anything there. Academic prestige. I know for a fact we do have them beat there. And uh, he's getting bored of that academic prestige talk. So we're going to go ahead and hang up the phone. Uh, Travis Kirk, another guy we're going to go ahead and schedule for. He's a center. We'll, be, we'll, we'll bring him in week eight. I went too far down. Let's go ahead and recruit him. Trying to find out what he cares about most, but he does care about program stability, so that's a plus. We'll go ahead and holler at him about that. Um, everything else we do pretty well, he kind of doesn't care about. What about TV exposure? Exposure. Why do I keep saying exposure? Exposure. He doesn't care about. He doesn't care about conference prestige, coach prestige. We don't have that. That's very high. We'll try to hard sell it though and get some points off of that. We got us everything scheduled. We're gonna go ahead and hang up. We have how many? How much more time do we have? We have six hours on the dot left. Uh, Jordan Bryan, the Juco DN, we still have yet to offer him a scholarly. He's not ready to visit. We're behind Washington State and Stanford. I'm going to quick call him for an hour while offering him a scholarship. So we're going to talk to him for an hour. Let's go 55 minutes right there. Boom. So scholarship offer. We found out that he cares least about athletic uh, facilities. Uh, large interest gain in early playing time and uh, large interest gain in coach experience. So, boom, hopefully get some points there. We got Anthony Cunningham, who's ready to come through. We're going to we're going to uh, schedule him versus San Diego State. Um, we all right. So he's very high on campus lifestyle. What about program stability? Most let's go. We have program stability, so we can go ahead and hard sell that. We are number two on his list. So we're going directly against um, Tulane here. So they only have a C program stability. So we're going to go ahead and downplay them boys a little bit. And then we're going to get up out of here, man. We're not going to make it too much. We, like I said, don't want to get hung up on. Then we're first one, John Dowdell's list. He's coming into what the. All right. So we're first one, John Dowdell's list. Uh, let's go ahead and schedule him week eight. We got a lot of things unlocked from him. Try, I wish I could sway his. Let's see if we could sway him. We sway him at early playing time. We get that up to average. I like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, what about fan base? Can you sway that? Ah, uh, enough already. He said. Um, trying to see what else we can really get to go our way. Let's just hard sell academic prestige real quick and. We'll go ahead and get out of here. We're, 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 we're going to keep him happy. Alonzo Randolph, another guy we want to go ahead. We're going to talk to him a little bit. 
uh find out if he cares about early playing time the least which is good because we're only a c there for his position Let's see if we can sway his pitch for academic prestige we get that up to average We'll go ahead and schedule him for week nine versus Air Force, and we're going to uh, get up out of here, man. We're first on this list, so I don't feel like we have to do that much. Is that everybody that's ready to visit? It is. So we got we got the bottom half of our of our board taken care of. Well, like more like the bottom third. Now we got some guys up here who should be pretty much signing. Pretty much. Oh, we, oh, so we get times two. Well, everything we talk about with Jared Butler here today. So early playing time. I you love to see it. Boom. Try to get the call all the way up to green. Oh, uh, he's happy and thrilled about what we're talking about. Program stability. I didn't mean to sway pitch. Oh wow, he was happy about that. That's cool. And it will recruit against Tulane here. I think we beat them. Yeah, we 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 beat Tulane in this aspect. It's in we spent a lot of time on Jerry Butler, way more than I, way more than I thought. But that that times two multiplier got me hyped, man. So he should pretty much all but be signing with us. Blake is shit. We're gonna go ahead and give him a quick call. We'll go twenty minutes. Jones, we're gonna give him a quick call as well. We'll give him those thirty minutes. We got two hours for four people. So that's thirty minutes a piece. Let's go ahead and quick call. So we unlock uh, coach experience, unlock coach prestige, unlock program tradition, large interest gain in uh, proximity to home. Here we got our guy, uh, Joe Gore, the Juco guy. Give him 30 minutes. We unlocked program tradition, large interest gain in academic prestige. We're going to get a quick call to Quentin Vincent, another guy we're high on. Uh, we get an interest gain on proximity to home. And then we got Jeff Allen. We're going to give him the last 30 minutes. And we get an interest game on uh, conference prestige. So, you know, I mean, once again, man, we were able to, you know, effectively and efficiently use all of our recruiting points. We did have to drop one person off our board. Our board is now, you know, 16 plus one with the guy we already signed. That's going to be Thomas Perry. And I'm uh, liking where recruiting is heading so far this season. And while we're here recruiting, I'm trying to take a look at some of the top prospects in the nation. And I want to just see if any of them have signed anywhere. So this is one thing I don't want to, I don't really don't care about their interest in me. I just want to see, you know, where they sign. So like the number one player in the nation looking like he's going to go to LSU number two player in the nation, Miami and V tech going hard. Um, all right. Number three prospect in the nation, Nick lemon signs with Penn state. So they'll have an X next to their name. If they sign number 10, uh, and number one, number 10 player overall, number one free safety, Chris Price going to Ohio State. Um, so that's it in the top 25. About was that three people? Uh, we got number three linebacker going to Texas Tech. We got the number four cornerback going to Florida. So, you know, this is all just the top 100 players. Brian Neal, number two DN going to Miami, all about the U. You know what time it is. Number 86 player overall, number 11 running back going to Michigan. And then number 98, number 12 running back, James Perkins will be going to the University of Texas. Now to fully deep dive in this week, we already went over who's choosing who and where we rank on everything. Take a look at our schedule, man. We took that first loss to our to our uh to our, our rival, right? But they're now in the top 25, they're three and on the nation. But we had two big wins back to back weeks. This is our first conference game at BYU. They were ranked coming into the season, but they're just one and two this year. And then take a look at their schedule. They lost to Oklahoma. Blown out by Oklahoma, then they beat the hell out of Tulsa, and then Florida State came and beat the bricks off of them Bulls, shut them out 34 nothing. So, can we kick them while they're down? We'll just have to wait and see. Take a look at BYU's uh, leaders. They got a senior quarterback, Gabriel Ivy, who's hurt, and that might have something to do with why they're bad, but he had just five touchdowns to four picks. Their uh, backup, Joe Hall, another senior, no touchdowns to four picks so far this season. Rushing wise, they got a guy, Tyrell White Rice. Uh, he's a captain, 168, two yards, I mean, two touchdowns. Uh, they got two receivers that catch all of their balls, 22 and 20, respectfully. Uh, they're 10 plus a catch uh, both, but only one touchdown between them. Uh, they got some decent linemen. Jones has given up two sacks this year. And on defense, Kevin Robinson leaves them in picks. Uh, he'll leave them in, I mean, he leaves them in tackles, leaves them in picks. And then, and, you know, he's second on the team in sacks. So, you know, this team isn't the greatest, and we are still on Heisman. 
going into this game we have i have yet to um i've yet to switch my uh my sliders actually you know what i'm going to do i'm gonna do this live on live on in the video right so i have these sliders but they're for they're for they're for all american but i'm what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just use the same sliders but i'm gonna just use them here on heisman and for some reason my obs is bugging the heck out and i want to get this situated before we get into the gameplay and we start dropping frames all right so this is <laughs> i'm doing this kind of like a stream so we're gonna go ahead we're going i'm gonna leave quiz quarterback on just because i think it's cool um i, I think it's fun all this stuff we're going to leave on uh does he have penalties on here he does so so we're going to do penalties because people are asking me what my sliders are going to be anyway they want 85 off size 85 false start 55 holding 55 face mask 90 pi 90 pi 90 kick punt return interference 85 oh no wrong one 55 clipping excuse me 85 intentional grounding 85 roughing the passer and we got 100 roughing the kicker so that's all the way up and maxed out and then custom ai user quarterback 35 user pass block 45 user catch 50 stays the same user run black run black run black goes to 45 um for the computer on offense quarterbacks go to 60 running back goes to 60 catching goes to 45 running back ability 45 oh no excuse me running back ability 75 uh 45 for run blocking boom that's the offensive side and then for defensive side we go 55 awareness 55 30 yeah i agree picks are a little much we'll go 35 break tackle and 55 tackling and for computer it's 55 awareness uh 60 knockdowns picks go to 30 like me uh break block four computer goes to 65 and then tackling goes to 55. all right so those are going to be the sliders and then we got special teams field goal power for user goes to 15. field goal accuracy goes to 10. pump power stays at 50. Punt accuracy goes to 10. And then kickoff power stays at 50 in front of the computer. Theirs goes down to 25. Field goal accuracy goes down to 40. Uh, punt power goes up to 70. Punt accuracy goes down to 45. And kick power for them goes up to 55. So as of right now, these are the sliders for the user. These are the sliders for the computer. And we're going to see how these play here in this game. These are these were made for all American, but you know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it. Uh, we're gonna use it for Heisman and see how it goes. You know what I mean, can't be that bad. And for this game versus BYU, guys, we actually have a regional broadcast, so this game will be on TV. Hopefully, we'll hear some commentary. We're live from Provo, Utah, in picturesque Lavelle Edwards Stadium. We're just moments away from kickoff. It's a mild, clear day, so the weather won't be a factor in this battle between the Brigham Young Cougars and the Colorado State Rams. Hi, everybody. This is Brad Nessler, and with me, as always, Kirk Herbstreet and the coach, Lee Corso. And Aaron Andrews joins us on the sidelines. The football season is underway, and we've got a great matchup between two teams from the Mountain West. Guys, is there any question as to who the star player on this offense is? It all starts on the ground, Brad. And one player I think this team can't do without is this kid at tailback. Yeah, if I had to predict a player of the game right now, then I'd put my money on this running back. If this kid doesn't go over 100 yards today, I'd be very surprised. Me too. All right, boys, here we are on the road. We lose the opening toss, but BYU elects to, elects to receive the ball anyway. So let's see what goes on here, man. Uh, you heard the guys, they said they expected this running back to go for 100 today, and we not having it. And once again, Noel and company are in the backfield, baby. Let's go. All right, here we go. Second to 12. Come on, Wilkerson. Ooh, stop playing with me, dog. Y'all going to stop disrespecting Wilkerson when he in coverage, man. I ain't going to keep telling y'all. Come here. Get the sack. Come on, Clark. Let's go, man. Let's go, baby. That's how you lock up out here. 
That's how you lock up out here, man. That's how you lock. Oh, no. They stripped us and got the ball back. Are you kidding me? I'm going to try to uh, challenge that. We're going to lose, too. Yeah, he wasn't down. Wow. Crazy. All right. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't let them, we didn't help them get downfield. That's no zero touchdowns and five picks for this quarterback, too. Oh, uh, whose man is that? My controller's messed up. My controller's messed up. Y'all see what the hell is wrong with my Malone on a play action? He's got a wide open man off his back foot. There's a flag on the play. What is it? If it's holding, I'm, I'm, I'm going back to default. We're going back to default sliders. We're going back to default penalties. Oh, no, but no, never mind. He definitely tackled my mans. <laughs> He's on the run. Wow. Keep forgetting Malone is not fast at all. We get sacked and lose four more. Third and 11 here for BYU. Ooh, he got the first, though. We're right there, though. We read that, famo. Let's go. They expect Rice to go for over 100 on us. They must not know who we are. Ah. Uh, Zone was not the move. We missed a few tackles in there in the end zone. BYU strikes again. All right, guys, let's see if we can get this running game going. Let's go. Rely on the run like we've been doing all year. Y'all going to block or no? Boom. Make that block. Truck him. There we go. There we go. No flag. Thank you. No flag. On the ball. On the ball. On the ball. On the ball. Let's go ahead and audible this. Gonna audible this to cross is in. We're gonna get under the underneath center. Put Thomas on the comeback route. Oh, he beat him on the fly part of the comeback route. And Thomas to the 20, to the 10, down inside the five, baby. Let's go. First and 10 handoff to, to Joseph, nowhere to go. The new slaughter set did suggest that we play seven minute quarters, but I'm gonna see how another game on six minute quarters go goes. Oh, Durbin broke a tackle this close to getting in the end zone. Bennett, you getting the rock, baby, and we punch it in. Let's go, man. Stop playing. We're, we're, we're too susceptible. We're, we're, we're too open in zone. He tried me, and we drop another Wilkerson. Come on, baby. We're in zone again, but it's a run, and we're all over it. Let's go. They will run it on third and long in this game. That's one thing I actually like. And they're going to do just that. And he's shy the first down. So all these markings. Dropped a few this game. Oh, we there. Let's go, Brandon. It's a run. We stuff it. Let's go. Do not get beat deep. Y'all got one job. Y'all got one job. That was my man. I was okay with him catching anything in front of the first down marker. Here we go. We're in business. A lot of people in the box. I don't care. Let's go, Joseph. Yeah. 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 Let's go. All right. Second and eight. Let's go. Where did such a feet make that block? Oh, yeah. That's huge, too. Come on, Kendrick. Truck some. Let's go, baby. Get this chains moving. All right, boys. Here we go. First and ten. A little wildcat action. We're going to hand it off to Durbin. Ah, nowhere to go. Boom. Drop it off to Medley. Breaking tackles. There we go. Big boy run after cats. Let's go. Get to the outside, Joseph. Yes, sir. That's just straight up wheels. That's just straight up wheels over the linebacker. Let's go. Utilize the run to open up the pass and the pass to open back up the run. Ah! Throw away is R1. Throw away is R1. It is not R3, 20, man. Just don't get sacked. Ooh, I thought we could beat him. Ah, Wilkerson. Wilkerson got beat there in man coverage. All right, we go first and ten. Let's go. Come on, Brown. Oh no! I'm not, I can't get too bad. They gave me the animations. I got the animation. He just got mossed. The defense calls an audible. All right, boys, they're keeping it on the ground. Get there, make a tackle. Come on, Day. Come on, Day. Rice, proving to be too much there on that run, man. Got one. Cut it out, Browse. That a boy. That a boy on the ball. One safety high. He's scrambling. Malone off on the run to Thomas. What a play by the DB. All right, try to get a try to get a good point here. Wind at our back. No fair catch. 
Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Ugh, I wanted that. Get the ball. Get to the quarterback. Bart. What another pick, baby. Let's go. His second of the game. Do not get stripped here. Turn around and make that block. Oh, yeah. You got to burn the quarterback. You got to burn the quarterback. You got to burn the quarterback. Let's go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. That's another big pick six, man. Let's go. Come on, boys. Let's go. Ah, that's why I hate zone face mask, too. We got away with one. Oh, Brown was in the mix. They trying to punch it in, dog. Let's go. Press these dudes. That was my man. I let him get the rock, fam. Lock up. Clamp up, fellas. Let's go. Let's go. Clamp up. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. All right, guys. So the clock hits triple zeros here in the first half. What a half. 21-17 is your score. We get bought to start the second half. This game has been absolutely insane, bro. I can't wait to see what's in store for the second half. Let's put him there. Let's put Rouse on that. And we're going to leave Joseph in the block. Here we go. A lot of people open. Malone taking it himself. Please just get down. There's no dive button on this game. Rouse looks like he could be open. Rouse is definitely open. Oh, man. I should have let that. Them, they were in zone and not man, but we still got it off. Here's a handoff to Joseph and try to just go. I tried not to try to. I tried not to bounce it out too much, but we pick up two. Got one. Stupid. Are you kidding? On the ball. Clark, what's really good with you, bro? You got an impact star, man. What's good with you, man? You wide the hell open, dog. Thank you, man. Stop. Dog. Dog. But, you know, our drive is taking way longer than I thought it would. But here we go. Oh, wow. I didn't know. I didn't even see my man's coming off the edge. So it's, it's a pass. They go to the flats. Didn't see that coming. Rice breaks a tackle. That looks like it's coming back. Thank God. Holding. Thank you, football Jesus. We're blitzing. Get the, I seen it. I seen it. I seen it. Let's go, no. We got the ball right back, and we're across the 50 with it, bro. Let's go. Jonathan Newell, man. Coming up with some more Wildcat here. Come on, Durbin. What a, what a, what a, uh, what an angle number 36 took there. Ah. Oh, we got one. Way to give. See what happens when you give us timeline. See what happens when you give us timeline. Come on. All right, boys. Here we go. It's a handoff. Rice has a lot of room to run. Breaks a tackle, and we finally bring him down. Oh, I seen him. We were in man coverage. How did he get that open, fam? Right, here we go. Watch out from the quick passes. Oh no, that's six. I said watch out from the quick passes because we're getting we're getting pressure up front. Let's go, boys. Just make a tackle. Good block. Good block, bro. That was a hell of a block by, by that receiver out there. I didn't think about playing the flats. They they went to the flats a few times, but they haven't been doing it all crazy. No, I'm off sides. I'm off sides. Oh, no, we were actually still on. Okay. All right, second to goal. Come on, Wilkerson. Catch the ball. Let's hold him to three. They're three for four. Or they're four for seven on third down conversions today, man. Look at the defense. So many people on fire and in the zone. We got to make a tackle. We got to make a tackle. Let's go, Wilkerson. Boys, you know what time it is? Get them fours up, man. Heading into the fourth with a three-point lead. BYU on the fourth down. They got a decision to make. Looks like they're coming out to kick the field goal. And it's up and it's good. Okay. Doing what we want for the most part right now at the moment. Boom. Learning to run in this game because, you know, it, oh, Nate Joseph is down. But I'm learning to run in this game because in this game, you have to let the blocks, you know, 
You know, you have to let the blocks evolve. You have to slow. You have to really pick and choose when you hit turbo. Unlike NCAA 14, where you can just hit turbo and run to the outside pretty much all the time. All day to throw. We go to Medley over the middle. That'll avoid Malone. When Malone's not getting pressure, I'm not worried about, you know, his throws. Excellent spell back, though. Cut it up. Yeah. Yeah. Them wheels, baby. Let's go. First down. Another one. Now we're certain our dominance, man, because we passed the ball well today. We've thrown the ball. I mean, we've run the ball well today, so they don't really don't know what's coming. Oh, but there, you know what I mean? Somebody came in. All, you know, they jumped the snap there. And now Durbin is hurt. What's good? All right, so our, our running back's proving to be glass out here today in this Utah in this Utah weather. Get over his head. Oh, That's a dang. That a bit. What a throw, Malone. I, I don't want this on the screen. I want to see the, the replay, man. They keep pressing the button for me. Time. Lock in. Lock up. Lock up. We get pressure up front, and we, we jamming. We physical today. Lock in, fellas. That. Come on, Clark. Oh, are you kidding? I didn't. I should have strafed there. Quarterback went after him again. We're in the backfield with Wilkerson. Yes, sir. Lock in. Another run. I knew it. Oh, we're on the floor. Rice breaks the tackle, but we bring him down. They pick up five. Lock in, lock in, lock in. Come on, Brown. Brandon Brown. We're forcing their quarterback to throw off his back foot all game, baby. Let's go. Here we go. Ah, I tried to spin back. The other. <gasps> he fumbled it. No way. He's got to be down. 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 Oh, my goodness. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Players of the game, Jeremy Malone, 13 for 21, 241, two touchdowns, 5 for 123, and a touchdown for Carl Mason. Yeah, him and number 11 were killing us. Get the first down, Durbin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, y'all know I'm extra as hell, right? Watch this. <laughs> You know what's crazy about that? You know what's crazy about that? I thought Square wasn't open, but he was. Put his hell with for that. Lock it in, baby. Let's go. Get up. Let's make a tackle. If you don't jump off Strander, but it don't matter. Clock is ticking out here. Oh, they actually are going to spike it. Let's go. It's such a good game, too. Yep, good pass. We just got to make a tackle. La All right, this is the last play of the game. Literally the last play of the game here, boys. Oh, no, they, they run out of time, and we're going to get this win on the road. We are winners in our conference opener, 31-24. Did I make it a little bit more difficult than what it had to be? Yes, I did, but it does not matter because we got the big, fat dub. All right, guys, you see this is going to be my game, uh, my ESPN Classic game rank number one. It's my first one. And uh, we made we made it that way, but it was actually a pretty good game through and through. 14-7 uh, them in the first, 10-7 us, then 7 nothing us in the third, 7-3 us in the fourth. Fourth quarter was epic. Team stats, they outgained us by 60 yards. One more first down than us. We ran for more. They threw for more. They were better on third down. We were perfect on fourth down, 100% in the red zone. We had two turnovers, but we had five takeaways, all picks. We won time of possession. Uh, we had more penalties and more penalty yards, and then uh, we had 409 total yards off of uh, total yards to their 531. So did their running back go for 100 on us in the ground? He did not. 15 for 67, four yards to carry. He did have the touchdown, but I'm here for it. Jared Malone, the one pick, probably shouldn't have threw a pick. My bad, Jared. I'm messing up your stats, fam. 13 for 22, 241 yards, two touchdowns, the one pick. Sacked three times, though. On the ground, Nate Joseph, 13 for 61. Hopefully, he's not going to be hurt too long. Durbin, 12 for 23. Bennett scored a touchdown. Through the air, Medley, 3 for 34. 2 for 92 in the touchdown for Brent Thomas. Uh, Kristen Clark, two, 2 for 56 in the touchdown. Two catchers for Rouse and Durbin. A catch for Kendrick and Joseph. Uh, Hill gave up a sack. Had a pancake. Bennett and Kendrick had pancakes. And Ross gave up a sack. And then defensively, eight tackles by Jared Smith. One sack by Jonathan Brown. 
two picks by Clark, a pick by Smith, a pick by Brown, a pick by Newell, and we got the W. Tight rope. BYU keeps it close, but still comes up short against Colorado State, baby. Let's get it. A thin win. The Cougars bow out at the end of Colorado State, 31 to 24. So we come over here to our injury history. Nate Joseph will be gone. Maybe sometimes this means just for the rest of this week. Sometimes it means he's going to miss next week as well. I like having Dermon back there, but hopefully we can have our guy Nate Joseph for next week. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, man. We got a big fat W. We're one and zero in our conference, and we continue to play well, man. Defense is amazing. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you are new. It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject, IRKGames.com. I'm out of here. Peace. Letting you go, I was just letting you know. I know the weather is cold, but you on your own. I ain't no regular Joe. Should've left me alone. I'm in the zone. I'm where the predators roam. We at the Senate in Rome, and I'm on the throne. This ain't no regular poem. This ain't that regular tone. No, do you follow me?